You watch Morning Rush uh, right here on ZTN Prime and we are coming to you from our Herald uh, studio uh, right here on the rooftop. And uh, this is the biggest morning show anywhere in the country right now. And on our entertainment segment today, we've got an interesting guest. He's used to putting people on the spot. But today, I don't know, is he on the spot? We'll get to find out. His name is Ola Seven. He's at radio presenter at our sister station star fm so he's here he does um the after drive and there's a particular interesting segment of the after drive that he calls on the spot all are seven how Kate, are you doing i'm good how is it mm. <laughs> you're looking smart as ever because i've watched you on the spot oh yeah because now you are streaming on facebook yes and yeah. you are always on point yes <laughs> yeah, uh, you know, um, we've got, uh, you know, uh, our, our sponsors, um, you know, I, I, I'm not sure if I'm allowed to mention, but uh, they make sure that I'm always on point. Okay. They make sure that all of seven looks good. <laughs> looks good for on the spot. For on the spot, mm. yeah. So people probably, before we, we, we get to talk about the show mm -hmm. itself. Yeah. Ola Seven. I think this is your tenth year on radio. Yes. Star FM uh, went on air in 2012. Yes. And uh, you are one of the pioneers. Mm -hmm. Well, together with me. Yes. I was there. yes. <laughs> How has been the journey since 2012 up to now? Wow. Uh, the journey has been good, and uh, you know, I want to say thank you so much to Star FM. You know, for giving me that uh, big platform. You know, uh, Star FM is a very big platform, and from 2012 until now, I've learned a lot. You know. I've learned a lot uh, ever since then. More when they were eating my challenges, I've my ups and downs, you know. But um, here we are. And uh, 10 years later, all of a sudden it is on TV, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So people want to know mm -hmm. on the spot, how did this come about? Because I know you do the after drive, yeah. we really enjoy that. Mm -hmm. But on the spot, how did you come up with that? What made you? Come up with that. I realized that uh, you know, I, you know, I used to watch a lot of uh, interviews, but I, I, in my own opinion, I think uh, they are more like PR interviews. So I was like, ah, no, why bring someone and just say, when is the next album coming? So uh, blah blah blah. No no no. I said, no, okay, I want to go you know to the edge, you know. So whereby I will ask about those sensitive questions. Even the controversies and whatnot, but it's not always about the the, the controversies. Uh, but some other people they don't have um, you know those scandals and whatnot. But um, we just focus on the sensitive part of the. <laughs> That's where you get the dirty gritties. Both get out of the I'm gonna die. Show you know because I go bow. Because you know that show even different from from all other you know shows the gritty guy, Zimbabwe or even beyond. So another that's something new. So I just, I felt like that I would know part of that's something refreshing. It's refreshed. You guys are about, right, I, I can't miss this show. And those uh, are the one who So who qualifies to be on the show? Everyone, everyone. Even if Goma Howard mm. can be on that show. Uh, not only because of scandals or what. Just to go to the house, I'm going 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 to go to the house, so that show is for everyone. I know we are part of it. I don't move on. Yeah, I go back clear the age. I my allegations, my rumors, and whatnot. Even my my business, I with even my my projects. I think about cheat as well. We give them that same platform. So why I ask who comes, who qualifies to come on the show? Yeah, because I know they, there is a lot of positivity. Yeah. that's coming out. It's true because of the show. There is a lot of negativity that's mm -hmm. also coming out because of the show. Yeah, and uh, I'm gonna pick one. Mm -hmm. Shadaya yes. has been on your case. And he will wear all schools of my celebrity. Oh, I don't know his uh, definition of my celebrities. Uh, but um really fun about Shadaya. He's actually one of the very first guests to be on that show. He was on uh, on my show on the spot on the 7th of December uh, 2021. Imagine 2021, not even 2022. 2021, he was on the show um, when I was talking about, uh, I was asking him about his feminist, you know, uh, pressures, I don't know what you said, my feminist on, mm -hmm. on, on, yeah, on, on Twitter. So, yeah, I, I wonder what he, because, uh, like, we have people like Mike Samba, uh, Mayun Tukudzi, uh, Lena Dijakata, 
uh, advocate uh, Fortune Chelsea, the likes of Temba Mliso, all those big figures. So I don't know, but I don't know happy wajo. Because as far as I'm concerned, Van Vajinji, Vamuno Funganizo, Waka Wea, Vasatwa Wea, Tinapataka Wachingetera, because it has to be strategic. It's just not good to get to go on zending, get to go on zending, get to go on zending. Mm. But cinema, you know, to know strategy, no shandy is out to go on zending, landing. So who do you work with? Is this a one-man band? No, 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 it's not a one-man one -man band. I work with uh, my producer, Nyengetra Dingana, and uh, Mike, uh, Loud Five Mushunje. So he's the guy behind the cameras, because we are live streaming this uh, show. So I think I see my camera So it's three, the three of us. So do you feel like you're the man of the moment? Because everybody's just talking about Ola <laughs> Seven and on the spot, and you know people are always looking forward to it. And you're getting some insane numbers. Mm, yeah, I believe, I believe with the past season, I think this is my season, so to say. I was going to but I, I feel like yeah, it is my season. So, in the my challenges I want because I've never been uh, talked in um, town like this. It's a good right now. Urugurira. Mm, mm. But yeah. I know the, with the, 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 the varied guests mm -hmm. that you bring to your show. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, because we are different people. Yeah, true. Some will give you one word answers, mm -hmm. some will really explain themselves. Yeah, yeah. Who was the most difficult? The most difficult, I think... Uh, you are on the spot, Baba. Yes, I think uh, I was Trevor Dongo. Trevor D. Mm. Uh, Trevor D, I love that they said the music only. So he personal, his personal side, Angus Ngadi Guidari, though he was just in public, so he was saying, ah, hola, I'm not going to answer kind of anything you're going to hands. Oh, but what is that? So I'm not going to answer you. So it was just like, okay. And, so, and Madam Boss as well. Madam Boss, actually, Madam Boss came prepared for the show, and he really wanted to, to open up, but uh, she was getting calls from <laughs> from Mofela, I, I suppose. Like, ah, no, 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 don't say anything there. So she was like, Ola, what do I do now? Because, ah. so I could, I, I could tell that she was hurting inside. I said, ah, no, it's okay, you can do whatever that you want, but I'm not going to change the script. Uh, I will go with my script. Uh, but it's okay. So she ended up saying, I have no idea, Ola. I don't know. I have no idea to think that she knows. But how frustrating is is, is it like, because you know mm -hmm. there is a story yes, there. Yes, yes. But yes. you can't extract the story because the person is being evasive. It really uh, frustrates. If it, with the guests, sometimes no matter, no matter agree on certain things, so we are going to talk about A, B, C, and D. Then it's also talking about Buddha. And you don't panic a gist. You don't yeah, 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 yeah. Then, ah, you know what I show you, yes. And also, not only the presenter, the listeners as well. Because one, I'm going to mirror chin. We are going to say that now, sit now, Madam Boso, now sit now, all are. After that, you cut. Then you are going to cut. Then you are going to Buddha. Then you are. I think when I want to drink that. But as as the interview, which one did you enjoy the most? Oh. Which one? Oh, I love my T T one. Uh, was uh, was a good one, and um, Daniel Chingoma. Yeah, yeah, it was uh, a good interview. Yeah, Daniel, Daniel Chingoma. Hmm. Uh, because Zandai Muzia, Zandai Mufungi, Zira, Then that's a mis up. No, he's a genius man. I mean, actually, the natural intelligence and ah, yeah, that one I enjoyed. I All enjoyed right. that one. Yeah, yeah, Daniel Chingoma. So what's what's in store? What, what what are your plans? Who do you want to get to the show that you've been failing to get? <laughs> Not failing as such, but um, the interview uh, president. I want to you know talk Namdara. You want to put him on the spot? On the spot? Yeah, of course. Why not? <laughs> he's the president. <laughs> he's the president. So he's our president. So you need to know. And because the papa panu you know. So throughout the there are people who are you know, they want to socialize and they want to So that's the platform. Hmm. It's the Morning Rush Entertainment segment, and today we are talking at Two Star FM presenter. His name is Ola Seven. So people want to understand mm -hmm. Ola Seven. Yes. Does that agree? No, no, my name is Owen Madon. Ola Seven. Where does this come from? Oh, yeah, it's a long story. But uh, you know, uh, in 2008, I, I went to South Africa. Uh, in 2008. So, you know, in South Africa, they say Ola Ola is a way of greeting. So when I came back from uh, South Africa, they go to the world, they say, ah, Ola Ola. So when I was in South Africa, I said, no, I don't know. Ola Ola. So I got a way of greeting in South Africa. Then people started, uh, started calling me Ola. 
Then the seven, I don't know. Yango is koi pap. Maybe because I I know of someone from South Africa, Zola seven, not Ola seven. So maybe people are going to go Raima Zagada, Yango is Ola seven, and Yango in there. So it's been ten years in the game. Yes. And when people see you, mm -hmm. people want to interact with you. Yes. You go to my functions. You are an MC. Yes. You do a lot of things. Mm -hmm. And there's a perception out there. How has been the industry? Um, Paco in the Kunzo, but in the Ogo, Tijona industry, a Mamira Kaita. I think it's a bit of uh, in, a, in, a, in a lot of challenges, like pressure. Church, one's one of Funga about us. He needs an authority to Kunzo, Chinga Zagarisiani, like right now, Tiba TV, Trugu Luka Luka, but maybe Gata Kunzo, and his niece, Jitigo, Tisa Vega was suit, Tetrika Tara Wolf was one or two. Saga perception, you know, you know, someone was ginger under pressure. You know, there's no power and like wanna like fake life, pretending. So those who are in the industry for ten years and also in the Zizok Sangha one of Wanda eight Tazizas or Wanda as you come Howard um industry in terms of you know growth church, personal growth. Um industry right now to talk about the total and meet the panel. Um at numbers is what I so so it's growth. after ten years, I'm here. And to go, you want to have a suit to When we saw you go, you go and marry because my brother, you're looking good. <laughs> Thank you. Those are more and more. Those are the other guys, man. Good. Perception, yo, yo, yo. It doesn't get anywhere. But marry, and and you got to say, "I'm going to marry." But you wouldn't think you want to marry Vijay Gumba. I, 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 and it, we are getting there, yeah. But otherwise, in terms of following on your show, mm -hmm. After Drive, yeah. I know when it started, yeah, you did yes, it, yeah. and uh, now it seems as if <laughs> how, how is the competition, though, Muripa, Muripa, Asa, Ipa? After Drive? No, no, Papa, Asa, generally. Oh, because the competition. Because you don't know, it's all a seven, and After Drive. Yes. You can buy something, you can buy very quickly. Eh. Ah, uh, competition and guys, I'm going to need competition. Yeah, Ganyanya, yeah, but graft and guys, Chemina. I think I've been getting support from the you know fellow colleagues. I was support. I go, I go to different. I all I up and up and down. So I have got license, got license. I want to feel like chin chain because it's like guys in Jew winner. But then I go like the chain chain. So I'm proud of my my team. So I think that competition, yeah, Ganyanya. You know, maybe outside. Not inside, maybe the other, you know, stations, or maybe we say, ah, no, we're gonna, we're gonna, she could so, Tinga, they say, to counter this thing, yeah, maybe, but I have a station that I support you, you could put as Ola Seven, yes, thanks for coming to Morning Rush. Thank you so much for having me, Mr. Howard. All right, Ola Seven, he is a, a presenter on uh, Star FM, he does the after drive, and he's got a, a segment that is uh, got in him, rev views, and uh, the segment is called on the spot. Thanks so much for coming. And Morning Rush is back again tomorrow. Many thanks to, some of, uh, to our, um, our anchors here. My name is Howard. Uh, thanks uh, to Erica and the Hodges and uh, Gillian. They'll be back tomorrow. And also the crew behind the scenes. Morning Rush for today. Done and dusted.